What's up, investors? Welcome back to the channel. This is Tony's Market Mentor, where we build our wealth one step at a time. If you're new, hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. If you're coming back, welcome. Nice to see you again. Today's Sunday, so we're going to be diving into our technical video or how to video, specifically on how to set up Turbo Trader on Weeble. This video is going to benefit and help those that are looking to do scalp trading or options trading a little bit faster. I'm also going to talk about one downfall to Turbo Trader that I personally don't like. If you don't have Weeble, I recommend that you download the app. It's a really good trading platform for beginners and advanced traders all alike. Really easy to use and it's quick. Again, I'm not being paid by Weeble, so this is not a you know, promotional ad. Personally, I just like the app myself and I find it real quick and it's one of the easiest and most beginner-friendly apps and platforms out there, in my opinion. Classes in session. So let's get started. Let's get right to it, guys. Today's video is going to be real simple and straightforward. I feel like a lot of people struggle setting up their Turbo Trader or don't even know about it. So I'm going to show it to you guys and we'll bring it to you. And hopefully this helps your trading and makes it a little bit better. First thing we're going to do, we're going to go here where it says more and we're going to look for options trader. You're going to come to this page here. So the first thing we want to do is clean this all up. So we're going to start off here on the top left where it says options and Turbo Options. We're going to remove turbo options. So now we just have our options chain. From there, I'm going to take the chart on the right side right here where it says chart. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to drag it. Personally, I like putting my chart in front of the options, but I'm going to drop it here. And let's adjust that. There we go. Charts. So I'm going to move my charts in front of options. This is how I like setting it up charts and then options. Once we ha have this set up, we want to set up our turbo trader. We're going to clean out everything else up. So we're going to get rid of clock. We don't need a clock. We're going to get rid of order entry. We are going to click here and remove order entry. We're going to remove that and we're going to remove this. So all you gotta do is remove position, remove that, right click, remove orders today. And now we have it nice and clean right here. Real easy to manage. You have the full chart. So now we're going to set up our Turbo Trader. So right here where it says order books on the right, I'm going to right click. I'm going to add widget. First thing I want to add is going to be options. So it's similar to having it here. I, I just like having it in both places. After that, I want to add Turbo Options. After I add Turbo Options, I'm going to add Turbo Trader. And then last but not least, we want positions. So for the sake of this video, I'm going to extend this out, make it bigger so you guys can see a little bit better. We're going to go to Turbo Options since that's what we're going to focus on. First thing I want to do is go to Filters on the left side here. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to unclick on everything except for Side and Ask. For Turbo Trading or when I'm trading Options, Scalp Trading, none of this other stuff really matters. Even the Greeks, guys, I'm in and out quick. so. The Greeks like Delta Gamma doesn't really make a difference for quick scalp trades. I do want the ask price and I do want sides. After that, so you should have four here on filters. You have the underlying stock that could be Apple, Tesla, whatever you guys choose. Next to it is going to be your expiration date. They're a week out. If you're trading anything like the SPY, QQQ, you can do same day expirations, but you got to make sure that you come in here and you choose a same day expiration or it will automatically give you a week expiration by default. After that, we're going to go to the ask here. I like to set this from 0 0.50, sometimes even 40 to 5.00. And then there's your options chain. So from that price range that I'm looking at, this is what they gave me. For sides, you want to make sure you clicked on calls and puts, not just one or the other. That way you get calls on left, Puts on the right side. It's that simple. Now, after that, we're going to go down here on the bottom left where it says trade buttons. We go to contracts. So this allows you to customize up to six quantities that you want. So it makes it a lot quicker. I have mine set at 50, 20, fifteen. One, five, and ten. Now you could do that however you want. It could be one, two, three, four, one, two. It just depends on how many contracts you're interested in buying. After that, we're gonna go to buy buttons. Here is where you're gonna have the opportunity to set your stop loss and take profit. That way it's gonna be preset before you even purchase anything. You can set it at whatever you want. 
I always have my stop loss set at 10% or a range that's between 15 to 3%, but for the most part, it's set at 10%. From time to time, I do set a take profit at 20 or a one to two ratio, depending on how much my stop loss is at. But I do leave this clicked off, but you guys could choose to click on it if you want or not. It's up to you guys. Just make sure you have proper risk management and that you have a strategy on when to get out. It's real simple. You have your orders right here. You could click on it. So if I'm, you know, market open, I'm okay. I'm going to buy 20 contracts at market open. I hit buy and it pops out here. It shows the position for once you buy it or if it's working. And if you set a stop loss, it also shows it on there. One important thing, guys, make sure, and you have to do this every time you open up your Webull account. You go to ask price for the buy and market for sell. I like doing an ask price because it ins ensures me a good entry and a sell. I set that at market. That way it ensures that I'm out quick. If I miss my entry, then I don't chase it too much depending on what I'm doing. So once you click the amount of contracts that you want, you hit buy and your order executes, it will be displayed down here. If you have a stop loss, and a take profit or one or the other set, it will be displayed down there as well. Now, here's the thing. Before you're allowed to sell your contracts, you need to exit out of both of those. And it's real simple. You just clicked on the X and, and you're out. And then you can sell. Right here where it says order confirmation, I want to make sure it's clicked off. That way, when you execute an order, it's a lot faster. Um, and they won't have to confirm your order with you. Just make sure you're aware of what you're purchasing. There you have it, guys. That's how you set up your Turbo Trader on Weeble. It's a straightforward video today, real simple. But I feel there's people that aren't even aware of Turbo Trader, or there's some people that know about it, but don't know how to set it up or feel a little intimidated by the settings. Well, this video will help you guys, and then you guys could just fine tune the settings to your personal preferences. The only downfall for me is that they only allow you. 10 price quotes at a time and it moves you know as it changes prices as well you do have to be signed up for Webull's opra which is real-time market quotes it's around five dollars i believe that's just real-time market quotes for options it's around five dollars i believe um, i don't remember exactly on the top of my head but it's definitely worth it to have the real-time quotes and to be able to use turbo trader this is definitely going to help those people that are Option traders, uh, day traders, scalp traders is going to help you execute your trades a lot faster. You're going to be able to get in and out quick. You're going to have your stop loss and take profit set if you choose to. This is going to make things a lot better and a lot smoother. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you guys out. If you know anybody struggling with uh, trading options and executing their trade, share this video with them and hopefully it'll help them out. I'll catch you guys on the next time.